Hi everybody, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you aren't familiar, this is my series, Relax with Rainy, where I basically just kind of talk to you about different topics, which, surprise, surprise, is in fact the Equestrian Festival. I'm gonna go ahead and just start on some races I will be training my Sofrance today that you guys met in my last video. If you haven't watched that video, you totally should. I would just like to preface that I am by no means a dressage expert and I will likely screw up on this. I guess I could talk about this first since it's, you know, right in front of us. So the dressage, we got it last year. To me, it seems pretty much the same. I myself like dressage, but I don't know, the Star Stable version of dressage just isn't my cup of tea. It's definitely more realistic than us star stablers doing like different moves and stuff that people don't do in normal dressage in real life. It's just kind of boring for me in game, but I mean it's an easy 500 horse XP. It just doesn't keep me very engaged. Oh god. Yep. It's alright guys, second time's a charm. I think the arena is super cute. I know one of the problems that people have been having is that the Equestrian Festival arena is permanent for the rest of the event, but people who do like realistic showing can't like do their shows and stuff because they're like unable to- oh god, I don't know which way to run. I'm supposed to go. Okay, thank god. They had like shows scheduled in this arena and now they can't do them because the arena's here, so. What do you mean penalty added? <sighs> What do you mean? This is like actually ridiculous. This brings me lots of anger. I feel very angry. This is not supposed to be making me angry. Don't give up. Shut up. I want to give up. No, I don't want to give up. I want to quit. There's a difference because, oh God, because with quitting, oh, oh my God. All right, third time's the charm. Do you guys find this fun? Like, is this fun for you? Do you like this? Because I don't like this. It's cool in theory, just not in practice. I'm gonna use the word fun very loosely here. It's fun when I know what I'm doing. I still don't know which way to go. I think it's this way. Okay. It really pisses me off that like, it doesn't want you to use your corners. Like it kind of wants you to cut corners. And I was taught when I rode to like really go into my corners in my tests. But apparently that's not what Star Stable's teaching. Whatever, Star Stable. What? No, no, please. You've got to be joking. No. Oh, I give up. I'm done. I'm, I, I, actually, I want to do it one more time. I feel like I, I, I can do this. I'm not doing the training. Don't tell me. Rainy, Rainy, do the training. No, Rainy is not doing the training. Rainy, Rainy can do this. I don't know why I'm talking in third person. All right, just, just calm down. I am fully capable of doing this. Can't even get to my next freaking topics. I'm stuck doing this stupidness. Do you know how ridiculous this is? Do you know how, I'm not gonna say humbling. It is kind of humbling actually. Oh God, is this the part where I have to do the circle? Please don't tell me it's the part where I have to do the circle. It is. This is the most awful circle I've ever done in my life. We're in the home stretch. We're in the home stretch. We're in the home stretch. Just stay, just stay centered. Don't do anything. Do you see that? First try. I'm kidding, that was my fifth try. I think it was my fifth one. That is like embarrassing, but it's fine. We got through it. I knew I was capable. It's an what easy no, 500 no, horse XP. No, no, no. I just had to, I just had to lock in to stop dilly-dallying. Group races, anyone? Man, I kind of wish I was on Nightstar right now. I'm just gonna go ahead and go to the next topic though. What does the Equestrian Festival really have to offer? I've been seeing a lot of videos that go up course with the question festival creators make videos about like going on you know shopping sprees or you know just checking out the equestrian festival and everything that is totally valid and i understand completely but you know considering i feel like a lot of us who play this game we've been playing it for a hot minute this isn't our first rodeo and you know we've seen it before and it's the same stuff for the most part it's the same stuff and it's really boring every year to see the same equestrian festival stuff if you haven't seen addison's video that she just posted recently of her spending like she used so many yorvik shillings to buy like all of these clothes intact to not use any star coins if you haven't watched that video you need to go watch that video it's so good like that kind of equestrian festival content i feel like is so much more i don't know interesting you know as someone who watches youtube what i'm trying to say it's like it's just really it gets really old 
old really fast just seeing the same stuff and i know not everyone is a star stable creator veteran you know what i mean like i'm not a star stable creator veteran i haven't ever made an equestrian festival video before but i've seen so many and i'm like i'm over it like, I don't want to record that. I was trying to the other day. I was like, I'm going to just check out the clothes, check out the tack, stuff like that, and make a video out of it. It'll be short, sweet, to the point. But then I was like, I honestly didn't really feel like recording that. I just wanted to be able to experience the equestrian festival and not have to talk about it, <laughs> you know, when it first came out. I just wanted to be able to experience it. So I did. And I just got to spend all my money on the clothes and tack. What do you guys think? I understand, like, there's, like, younger people or just new people to the whole Star Stable scene. So these, like, checking out the equestrian festival videos are still going to be popular and they're going to get views because everybody wants to see what, you know, the others are thinking or just what's going on. But I feel like there's, a like, at least a group of us that feel like like this is just old i've tried to watch new like equestrian festival videos that came out recently but i just can't i just they just i just lose interest so fast and i just kind of wanted to talk about how incapable this event is of keeping me entertained for the most part group races anyone please Sakura, you're literally the best ever, and I appreciate you. Do you guys think I'm gonna win? Be honest. One thing I really love about the Equestrian Festival, which, you know, because I just, I wanna make it clear that I don't dislike this event at all. I'm not saying I dislike it. I'm just saying that making content out of this event is just so difficult. It's difficult and it's just, a lot of it is overdone and, you know, you can't help it because it's the same stuff. But I really love the people that are so kind and will like do races with you and help you out. They're just so sweet. Like I've had, I've done races with people when I don't really need the group races. I've already done them. And then some people will do them with you if they don't need them just to help you out. And it's like, it's just the sweetest thing. And like thanking each other for helping complete the daily. Like I just, I just feel like it's so wholesome. Nowadays, there's just not a lot of wholesomeness in this community anymore. So but things like this, I don't know. It's just refreshing. So, um, yeah, that's one thing I do really love about it. And also, if I didn't mention this, I would be crazy, but the horse XP, dude, it is good. If you're not someone who trains their horses and you need like an excuse to train, this is your excuse, dude. Capitalize off of this event, okay? It's been a real like pain in my behind to try to make myself max my horses recently, which I don't really know what's up with that because I was on like a training grind. Like I was on a training kick. It was not eat, sleep, train. It was, it was train, train, train. Okay, maybe there was some sleeping in there. I am a chronic napper. Where's Sabine? I hate getting smoked at this race every single time. Time. Like for once, I just want to be able to beat her, but um, I guess I can just dream on. I'm trying to think of more things that I like about this event. Obviously, I like that you can exchange tokens for tack, which you know we'll we'll go look at the tack for a little bit. I'll tell you what I bought. I'm not gonna make it a whole thing, but I I like the tokens so you can exchange for like actual good tack that has good stats. Like I'm so grateful that they've been doing that, where they make newer tack have good stats because I'm one of the players where I will not wear something if it has bad stats because I'm constantly training or I'm at a champ and I just want to be fast anyways regardless no matter what I'm doing so I don't typically wear clothes just purely for looks they have to have some type of stat advantage and if so if they do have one it's got to be max it just has to be point blank period oh god i'm going the wrong way i love these new sets like these are like sick i'm not a big fan of the coral color but i think it's just because i haven't put it like i haven't put it on a horse that looks really good with it um i've already watched the spoilers of the the coats that are coming out and i don't know i don't know guys if i want to buy one um, let's look at this store this is it kind of hard to see with this on? I'll take it off. Yeah, I bought all the saddle pads, which I already had some. I don't really want any of the other saddles. I mean, this one's kind of cool. Um, I have almost all the bows except the white ones. I decided not to buy the white ones because like I literally already have white bows. These just have slight detailing on them. Bought like almost all of the leg wraps except these like open front jumping boots because I just don't really care. This set, I don't know. I don't like Iberian saddles. This is a cute bridle, but I don't think I have any saddles that would go with that, unfortunately, but I would totally snag that up. 
I thought this, I could find something that would go with this somehow. Like I could find something. These are definitely an acquired taste. I don't really like this style of leg wrap with like the like cross, like the X's at the top. Let's look at the new tag as well. I've already bought a lot of it. I just haven't bought the, um, the dressage pads, but to be fair, I don't really think I need them because I just don't do a lot of dressage anyways. So we're just not going to purchase those. I just now realized that I was playing without my preset on for a while now. I apologize. But anyways, what do you guys think about the equestrian festival? Do we like it? Do we not like it? Are we having a good time? Let me know. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really do hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please make sure to hit that like button and maybe consider subscribing. Would be happy to have you here. You can find me on Instagram at Stephanie Rainbridge or S Rainbridge on TikTok. Anyways, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.